Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about the truth about work and passive income. So hear me out guys. When we talk about work, when we talk about passive income, there's two sides to this equation, right? So most people think about their job as, you know, like most people who don't like their job, 85, I heard like 85% of people hate their jobs. Most people don't like their jobs, why? because they have to be there for 40, 50, 60 hours a week. They have to be there at a set time. They have to work with people they may not like. Their boss might be a pain in the butt. You know, they may not like their customers, right? And this leaves people feeling like a sense of meaningless, a sense of uh, that, that like their life's just robotic, it's mechanical. There's no spontaneity, there's no creativity, there's no upward mobility in terms of their growth. And this is really where people use the comparison of like being an entrepreneur to denigrate that, to, to draw a comparison and elevate entrepreneurship over that sort of lifestyle. However, people get the misconception that being an investor or being an entrepreneur or being your own boss is somehow going to be a cakewalk. It's somehow you know, look, you can make passive income online. You don't need a job. You know, life can be, your life can be free and easy and you can go travel and work from home and work on your computer. And yes, that's all great marketing, right? Entrepreneurs and people online, they do that. They say those things so that you'll buy their course. But what they don't tell you is that you're gonna have to work extremely hard to create that lifestyle. And think about it. If those guys who were trying to sell you a course said, hey, you know, you can make passive income, make millions of dollars, but you're still gonna have to work hard as shit to do it. More than likely, you know, maybe 50% of people won't buy that course because it's like, shit, I have to work, right? And people don't wanna work. They want an easy way out. They want the most cookie cutter, get rich quick sort of uh, model to follow, but that doesn't exist, right? So. That's the whole point and topic of this video is transitioning from, I'm gonna have that easy passive income lifestyle to where I don't have to work, I don't have to do anything, to more so of, I'm gonna prepare myself to work, but I'm going to obviously intend to make passive income, but I'm going to have benefits associated with being my own boss, having my own investments, and living life on my terms, right? That's where you draw the line, that's the difference. The difference isn't that I'm gonna not do anything. No, you're just working towards a better a better uh, place in life, really. That's what it comes down to, right? Because right now, think about it, if you're working 40 to 60 hours a week, 40, 50, 60 hours a week, you're probably more than likely not spending a lot of time with your family, you don't have a lot of time to travel. You don't have a lot of free time. You don't have a lot of time to contemplate. You don't have a lot of time to, you know, study things on, on your own and learn new things, right? So the goal, I think, for most people when it comes to, you know, being an entrepreneur or an investor is obviously, yeah, I mean, the the the, the income limit is endless. You can make as much money as, as can be, right, as being an investor or an entrepreneur or both. But I think the difference is, is that people just want to have a, a better quality of life, right? And, you know, you're going to have to work towards that. But the whole idea of entrepreneurship, I think, that most people don't say when they're doing their sales pitch is passive income just allows you to pay for more time to do things that you enjoy, such as learning new skills, going to the gym, spending time with your family, traveling, spending time outdoors, right? Doing all the things that humans love to do, right? Being an artist, hanging out with friends, right? Dancing, singing, right? Doing all these, like, these are human things that, you know, sadly in our in our culture, right? Because we have, you know, you know inflation and people are working two jobs now to, to barely make it. Uh, unfortunately, we don't really have that much time in between work days to be able to live creatively live live uh you know have fun with our family and travel and do all these things right so the whole i think lure of entrepreneurship and having passive income 
is more so just to live a better existence. Not, it's not really so much about the money, of course. I mean, the money is gonna be great if you're you know, investing in stocks and real estate and doing your thing, but it's more so the lifestyle that it allows you to live. It allows you to be more of who you are. So let's, guys, you, if you're watching this video and right now you're working a job and you know, you're thinking about investing or doing this or doing that, I want you to get in the mindset that regardless of what investment you choose or whatever business model you choose or side hustle you choose, get in the mindset that I'm going to work extremely hard to make this a reality, right? Because nothing is gonna happen, you know, if you just don't do anything. Basically what I'm trying to say is the whole the whole myth of yeah, you're just gonna have, like I said, an easy lifestyle, you're gonna make passive income and everything's gonna be cool. That whole lure doesn't work when you're trying to transition from a job to an entrepreneur or to an investor, right? It doesn't work because even myself, when I'm creating videos, prior to me making this video, I thought about this topic for like two or three hours, right? You know, when I'm looking at stocks or I'm looking at different stocks to trade, I have to look at the chart. I have to see the price, how it's performed for weeks and months. And I have to look at the different candles in each chart that'll show me where the price is gonna go, right? So that I can make a, a calculated risk investment that you know may or may not pan out, but at least I, I studied the chart, I looked at the price, I looked to see where it's been going and where it might go, and now I make a, a an investment. But it's still work, I still have to pay attention, right? Even if I have like a two, two to four week swing trade, every day I still have to pay attention depending on how volatile the stock is, I still have to look at those hours where people buy and sell, you know, typically 9.30, noon, and then three o'clock, right? Because I can do everything right, I can look at the, the charts and the price predictions and everything, but if I miss, if I'm not paying attention during those three uh, times throughout the day where you know the, the prices are most volatile, I might miss. So I might have a target price of 255. Let's say it hits 255 at you know 12:30 in the afternoon, and I miss, and I'm not paying attention. Well, I just lost my opportunity to to make the money that I set for the target. So. Guys, whatever you do, this whole passive income thing, there's no such thing as passive income. Yes, you can earn more money per hour, you can earn money more more efficiently, but at the end of the day, it's still, whatever money you earn, nine times out of 10, you had to do something to make that money come in, right? Even if I'm making like m money off of these videos from ad revenue, I still had to freaking make the damn video, right? I still had to think about the idea. I still had to plan. I still had to write in my notebook. I still had to think about what I'm going to talk about. I still had to perform in the video and 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 um, convey myself for you guys to understand what I'm talking about. So the work never ends. It's always going to be there. Whatever you choose to do, there's going to be there's going to be a learning curve. Now, obviously, it's not going to be the same as you working. A laborious construction job or a landscaping job or just you know a regular nine to five but it's still going to require effort it's still going to re require attention and it's still going to require learning so those three things effort attention and learning you're never going to be able to escape those things right even like these guys who are you know everyone thinks of like meditation teachers and you know like people like Buddha and like all these like guru, spiritual gurus as like, you know, models to live by. And it's like, yeah, meditation's cool and samadhi and enlighten, enlightenment experiences and peak experiences, those are cool, right? You know, yoga and all that stuff, it's cool and all, but guess what? It still takes work. And eventually, you know, if you, if you get so good at yoga or you get so good at meditation or you get so good at contemplation or journaling or whatever, you're gonna to wanna to share that with people. And guess what? That's work too. Think about Deepak Chopra, think about Eckhart Tolle, think about Sadhguru. Sadhguru has a YouTube channel. 
Eckhart Tolle has a YouTube channel. Deepak Chopra has a YouTube channel. So no matter how enlightened these guys are, they still have to come back down to reality and give their wisdom to the average person, right? So the work never ends. No matter how enlightened you are, no matter how, how, uh, how free you think you are, right? As long as you are here, as long as you are alive in a physical human body, you will have to work, right? Even if you're out in a cave, right? Let's say you leave society and you decide to go to the mountains and meditate till you're 100. You're still going to have flies picking at you. You're still going to have to find warmth when it's cold. You're still going to have to find food, right? So it never ends. By definition of you being in a human flesh vehicle suit, there is work involved, right? And let's say you delegate, let's say you get so good in your business that you're like a damn Bilzerian and everything's delegated and you just do whatever you want. Guess what? You still got to keep up with your health. You still have to make sure the dishes are done. You still have to, I mean, obviously he probably delegates that, but from a fitness standpoint, you still have to make sure you're healthy. You still have to make sure that you're learning, right? So yeah, I mean, the work might get easier as you get older and it might be less arduous as far as physical labor is concerned, but it doesn't exclude the fact that work is still involved in the human condition. That's where, that's where people get it twisted. And that's what I'm here to shed light on. Work never ends. As long as you're in a human body, you could be 90, you're still going to have to work in some way, shape or form. Now, obviously it's going to be different, but it doesn't change the fact that you're still going to have to work, right? Um, yeah, guys. So I hope you, uh, I hope that's kind of understood and, and, you know, taken not with necessarily a grain of salt, but as something that's truthful, right? Because it is true. No matter how much money you make, no matter how good your business is, no matter how good your systems are, you're still going to have to do things that at some point, at some times you don't want to do, right? And you're still going to have to do things to learn to make things better, right? So yeah, um, that's it. That's all guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please make, please make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, anything, feel free to leave it down below. Uh, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.